Hi, okay, so here I'm going to show you how to install the Reborn Spirit screensaver. You just click on the download button here, and then up comes the download link here. Click on Save File, choose where you want to save. I've already downloaded it, so I'll just be resaving it. And I'm using Firefox as my web browser, so the process might be a little different depending on what web browser you're using. I'll just clear the list here for that. And finish wait for it to download here. Okay, once it's finished, just click on it. If you're using uh, Windows 8 like I am, this here will pop up sometimes. So just click on that. And click on Run Anyway. As here, you can't see it because for whatever reason the video capture thing won't uh, show it, but it's a warning message. And I'll just click on Yes if you see that warning message. Uh, click on the I Agree or I Accept. Uh, it's important that you usually always want to save it in the Windows folder. Uh, reason being is uh, sometimes when the uh, settings window, which I'll show you later, comes up, it uh, won't always show. Oh, here it is. Uh, in the settings window here, and if you don't save it into the Windows folder, or then the next time that you download and install a uh, screensaver, if you install it into a different uh, folder in Windows also, then the previous uh, screensaver you installed everything in a uh, window other than the Windows folder will get bounced off of this list because it can only store uh, one screensaver from a random folder at a time on this list so if it's installed in the Windows folder then it will continue to show it on this list at all times uh, because I've already installed the screensaver in the past it didn't automatically show it, it just shows none as the default uh, if you're installing it for the first time it usually switches it to the uh, one that you've uh, just installed so just go to the Reborn Spirit screensaver here. You can also preview it from there as you saw. Uh, you can click on the uh, different settings here, configure the settings however you want, or you can just leave it as the default. Uh, if you want to change the playlist, you can choose to do that. It's as simple as just click on there and then editing the playlist. You click on add and then it'll pop up a folder here. Uh, you just go to your music folder. Uh, there we go. Go to the music folder and select whatever uh, music albums you want. And uh, just add the songs however you want. It's pretty simple. You can sort them in whatever order you want using the arrows. You just click on uh, the song and click on the up down arrows to sort them in the order that you want. Uh, add multiple songs from different albums and things like that. You can preview them and stop the preview and such. Remove individual songs. Just click on the song and click remove or remove all. And uh, then you can change your uh, behavior if you uh, decide you want to adjust the volume of the screensaver while the screensaver is playing, but you don't want it to exit the screensaver. Just uncheck this box here and everything. Click on close to save the settings and then click on apply. Uh, usually, I always like to hit the mouse button or the uh, space bar usually to exit out of the screensaver because it's the largest button on the keyboard and it's just quickest to hit to exit out of the screensaver. Uh, anyways, uh, that's pretty much it. And then you can see the uh, About button here, which gives the uh, links to the information and such. Pretty simple. You can get to the website very easily. Just click there or on the uh, header image up here. Uh, the register, you don't need to worry about that because the screensaver is free. Uh, if it wasn't free, you just click on that there and it will pop up the thing here asking you for an activation key or order it. If you click on that, it will go to my website. And all, but uh, don't need to do that because, like I said, it's a free screensaver. Uh, from there, you just click on apply. You can also change your settings here if you want. You know, if you have a login screen, you want to go to that after the screensaver is exited, then just check the checkbox, change uh, when it comes up, and everything. So just click on apply and OK. And that there disappears. You'll see this here also when you're installing a screensaver. Everything, just click on next and finish. And that's pretty much it. It's real simple. 
Uh, sometimes when you uh, click on the download link, it'll redirect to uh, the Mediafire website. Occasionally, it might ask you if you want to uh, install a uh, not install, but uh, I'll ask you for a CAPTCHA code sometimes. And I usually try to uh, check the uh, links every so often to make sure it's uh, hot linked directly to the download. Sometimes if I add a new uh, screensaver to my Mediafire account, it will sometimes uh, change the link and it will go to the Mediafire site. And I'll try to keep it from doing that. But sometimes it will do that. Uh, if that happens, uh, you just have to figure it out. It's pretty simple to figure out how to get it to download. And all. it's not that difficult. Uh, anyways, that's pretty much it. Have a nice day and enjoy the screensavers. They're all free. And...